is Janet, my boyfriend. And that's me. I'm Joss. In the six years that we have been dating, we've made a lot of good decisions. Like when I decided to study in Germany so we could live together. Or when Janik decided to quit his job and start a YouTube channel. Or just recently, when we decided to start our own brand of shampoo bars called Natol. Link in the description. But there's one decision that we have a very hard time with. We have no idea where to settle down. What we do have is a list. And on that list, there are a couple of places where we could see ourselves settling down. Potentially. One day. Before the pandemic started, we had a plan. I want to figure out where we want to live, and in that house or apartment or whatever we're gonna get. Hopefully a house. Hopefully a house. With a with, garden. With a pool. <laughs> 2020 was gonna be the year where we were gonna go to all of those places and stay there for a couple of weeks just to figure out if we would want to raise a family there in the future. It's a bunch of little Justin Yannicks. Oh my god. More of us? I don't know if the world needs that. It's gonna be awesome, that. dude. But as you might have guessed, things didn't work out. And instead of moving to our future home, we ended up moving back to our old homes with our parents. We really loved having this opportunity to spend time with both of our families. Now my parents look at Janik like a son, and your parents probably think of me as a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, yes. You're like, sure. <laughs> sure. No, we really enjoyed being together with our families, but we're a couple and we also need some independence. Some yes. privacy. That's right. Some time to connect with each other. Oh wow. In a physical level. Wow. Oh. <laughs> we spent the last couple of months in Mexico and in a few days we're going back to Germany from Cancun. Now very close to Cancun there's Tulum. And now guess what's one of the places on our list. Tulum! Ah. Tulum. Tulum, Tulum, Tulum. <laughs> Why are you not doing it? Because I don't know what that was. <laughs> the first time that we visited Tulum was in 2018, and it became my favorite place in Mexico right away. What about Tlaquepaque, bro? You said even the title of that video is This is my favorite place in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> well, Exposed. but in the end of the video, I said, Oh, Tulum, of course, too. I mean, it's at the beach. Uh... So, both of them are my favorite places, but Tulum is still maybe a little bit higher. <gasps> Sorry, tapatillas. Now, since we had to come to Cancun to fly to Germany, we thought we might as well take advantage of the opportunity. This is like destiny giving us a sign. <laughs> so we took advantage of this and we wanted to stay here for a few weeks just to figure out if we like it and how it is to actually live here. Yes, not coming as tourists, but Random people. <laughs> <laughs> people that live in Tulum. <laughs> yeah. So a couple of months ago, we decided to rent an Airbnb, we rented a car, and now we're here. Oh, hi. Welcome to Joss and Janik's Tulum Studio 2021. Come on in. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> This place is actually pretty small, so the minute you walk in, you're already standing in our kitchen. Don't look at feet because they're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet are not ugly. <laughs> okay, you're standing already in. <laughs> this is the kitchen. It's wow. pretty small, but it's enough for both of us. But we only have two spots on this stove. Yeah. So if you want to cook a lot of things, like Joss, I would we'll never do. <laughs> we couldn't do that. These are a bunch of drawers. All of these things were already here. And this is our fridge. It's a mess. Mm, Don't look at it. Pasta. <laughs> here we have our groceries. Cereals. Not sponsored by Carlos V. And this stupid cereal, guys, was like 150 pesos or not? Yeah, like five euros. What the hell? We didn't notice and then when we got home we were like, why was it so expensive? And here, if you come back... And that's the best thing about this apartment? Trying to do it in a sexy way. Our laundry room. Wow, a washing machine. So, if you come here, you'll find a cute area where you have a coffee maker and a tea water maker, steamer. Which we have never used. I used it once for tea, 
But in Tulum, like, who wants to drink tea? You want a mojito, bro. Mm. You want a limonade. So we never really use this space, but cool. It's nice to know it's there. <laughs> Here we have a cool cactus that looks very nice in the photos from Airbnb. Now, behind this door, there's another apartment that looks similar to ours and you could actually book both of them together and open it and then just walk in between rooms if you come with a bigger group. And if you come here, you'll find the place where we spend most of our time, our dining room slash office. This is where we've been editing or doing stuff on the computer for Natal and stuff with a cool TV in the background. We always use it to watch Community on Netflix, not sponsored, but we should was. So that's pretty much it with our cool dining room. And here we have our bed area with a huge bed and a huge mattress where I finally have enough space to sleep on. <sighs> that's nice. That's a good size for me. Only. <laughs> okay. So now we get to our bathroom. We have a mirror, a sink, a tab, some random stuff. Those are mine. And of course, the shower. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck, Joss and Yannick are using plastic shampoo bottles? Well, they were here already, but of course we brought our own shampoo bars. Made by Joss and Yannick, link in the description. If you want to buy it and you're in Mexico, check it out. Natal for everyone, <laughs> if you live in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and lastly, we have to show you the best part, which is the balcony with the view. Wow, tropical. Welcome. Do you feel like you're in paradise? I do, yes. Check this out. Here's our balcony. There's two chairs where we can chill, hang out. Is there a bunch of people down there? Yeah, I can see that you're getting nervous. <laughs> nervous. Yeah, and from here we can enjoy the view. Super cool. Great. There's one more thing. This is one of my favorite things. We can open this door fully. <laughs> it's very loud. And we have a huge. Feels like you have a villa, you know? And we can just do this all day long if there wouldn't be mosquitoes in Tibet. And this is it. This is our apartment. But now we're gonna go outside to show you the rest of the building. So let's go. Welcome to the pool area. Just doesn't want to speak so loud because there are people around. Welcome to the pool area. <laughs> Here they have different pools. We have the main pool behind us, then there's a smaller one where there's usually no one. <laughs> and we have a jacuzzi. Yes. Why is it raining now? What the heck? Whoa. We share this area with everyone else that's staying here in the apartment complex. And we've noticed that there's a lot of German people staying here. So many Germans, it's incredible. Yes, like I feel like I'm in Germany somehow. Yeah. <laughs> and also we've noticed that there's a lot of Instagrammers and TikTokers and YouTubers and of course. people that have OnlyFans accounts. <laughs> How do you know? Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a lot of nice photos, nice videos here. That's why in the morning today we went out and took some videos for ourselves.
there's that, and there's one more thing that we want to show you here, and that's over there. Let's go. The gym here, the gym here in Mystique is pretty cool and you have basically everything that you need to work out. Yeah, it's very nice. In the beginning we were working out here a couple of times when there was either a no one or only one other person besides us. Mm -hmm. But then one day we were working out and three other guys entered and none of them was wearing a mask because it's not mandatory here in this gym. So we were like, uh -oh. peace out, <laughs> bye. And from that day on we decided to work out here. Welcome to the rooftop. This is a very nice place. It's not done yet, as you can see. There's nothing in yeah. the background, but it's super empty and there's a lot of space. And now this is our spot where we watch the sunset, the sunrise, we work out and just chill away from everyone. <laughs> a few days ago, we were doing HIIT workouts here in the rooftop. It was pretty hot, no wind. It was awful. <laughs> and we were so sweaty. Yes, and Yannick found himself so hot that he made me take a bunch of videos and photos of him. So, here they are. Take them <laughs> no, out. <laughs> yes. we're not going to show them. Yes, we're going to show <laughs> them. <laughs> There's a bunch of models, hot people, staying in this complex. I don't know why. Including us, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody looks like Thor. <laughs> and I always say I look like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> now you're like, no. And now I'm like... <laughs> now, let me show you around. We're not sure what this place is going to become later. Right now it's empty, but I think somebody told me it's supposed to become a bar and online I saw that it's becoming a yoga studio. So this sums up our house tour in Tulum. We will stay here for the next couple of weeks and create a daily routine with working, cooking, doing laundry and all the other boring household stuff. And we will experience how it is to live here rather than being here as a tourist. From here we get to see what everybody's doing yeah. in their apartments. So Yannick, until now, what's your favorite part of the whole place? Of the whole place? Yeah. Probably the pool area. Yours? Maybe here. <laughs> yeah? Weird. On the roof? Yeah, it's so nice to be here. Under the sun. And who knows? Maybe soon we'll know if Tulum will become our new home. <laughs>